you very much my people uh, i know you have seen this video of this uh, confession by one busola dakolo or whatever accusing her pastor of raping her and um uh, why i decided to bring it out on this my personal blog that's a social blog is because you know bvi channel one we have a very defined ideology hmm? so when i want to talk things when it be say is outside our ideology driving that platform i have to move it on my personal blog so i go fit talk and the way it is because i hate injustice anywhere and i'm not here to defend whether the accused or the victim but i'm here to punch you on the real fact first i'm totally disappointed with nigerian youth especially those throughout out to protest for and against hi or what can politicians in there protest and won't counter protest or oh, oh, but that is not the bulk of the game i'm totally disappointed with those you call celebrities and i keep wondering what are you celebrating in them they have not added any value the only celebrity i celebrate in nigeria is area father Charlie. because he has been the one that has stood out to challenge all the impunities and rape constantly being Meted against Nigerians by the political and the elite class. None of these so called celebrities have spoken up against. Them. And even the canal and sexual rape done on this innocent young girl just a few weeks ago. It was on Facebook. It never went viral. Nobody organized protests for this girl because probably she's not a celebrity or probably she's from a poor family. Nigerian youths who not get problem. When I get mental problem, no wonder when a president call on a lazy, not be only physical laziness, but even mental laziness. I, who did this to you? Honestly speaking, now let us even quickly look at this thing you called this girl from her own account. Eh? Let's just get a summary of this rape account. Now let us take it one after the other. You claimed or you said that. The pastor came into your house. You are still as early as 6 30 a.m. You are still putting on your nighty. So I came down no more. Normally the way I come down, it was like 6 30 to 7. It was pretty early. Right. I was still in my nightwear. I was wearing a gown. My nightwear. You opened up, you put it on your nighty, the pastor pushed you. Um, immediately I just opened the door. He just pushed me. He didn't say anything. And from your definition of pushing, I didn't see that forcefulness from your tone. Like aggressive pushing. He pushed you to the sofa. He didn't, um, he didn't utter any word. He just pushed me to one of the chairs in my living room. Then, he started unzipping himself. And I saw him like he was removing his belt. You are still wondering why he's unzipping his belt and bringing out his eloquent. He saw the mode. He saw the major. He was looking. And he told you to calm down, that you'll be all right. That if you cooperate with him, that you'll be fine. So I was like, what? He just said, keep quiet, do what I want you to do, and you'll be fine. You kept quiet. You didn't scream. Even when you want to scream, he put his mouth, his hand on your mouth. And then, when I was just about to react, he just covered my mouth. And um, when he covered my mouth, just like, Osola, listen to me, and you'll be fine. Just do what I want you to do. My people, Ndi Sulugolu, Nyabo, Nyabo Isumesu. Ega ama that now. Um, naturally, so many girls scream. Omun, 
during the sexual intercourse. Yeah, it is true. And they will moan so loud that even the entire neighborhood will hear it. That early, everywhere could should be quiet. It was just myself and one of my elder sister that was at home. And my house, like a duplex, was a duplex so big that if you're in a room upstairs down, you won't know what's going on downstairs, things like that. So, this girl, your sister is in the house. Someone you purportedly claim that raped you was about taking your virginity because you said you are a virgin because blood dropped. He eventually penetrated, even blood dropped on the floor. I'm not a medical medicine to dictate which blood, whether um, period blood or whatever, uh, menstruation period blood or whatever thing you call it, or your virginity is taken away from. That's a, a different case. Now, you couldn't shout because you claimed that if you shout, that even someone up there on the roof will not hear your voice. My house, like a duplex, was a duplex so big that if you're in a room upstairs down, you won't know what's going on downstairs, things like that. Hmm. I wonder how big this, this house could be. That even in this compound, I'm the only one living in this compound. If anyone shouts here, all the people in this neighborhood will hear it. Much more on the same roof. Okay, let's give you that benefit of doubt. But as far as I'm concerned, my own take on it is that you indulged in that sexual intercourse. I didn't struggle. I didn't struggle. I just um, left him and um, he brought out his pennies and I was wearing a nightgown. I was wearing pants, pulled down my pants and that was how he, he found difficulty to enter but he just kept, I was like grunting, I would cry, I would, I was just doing a whole lot of mixed feelings and all that. Maybe you are overshadowed by the fact that this is a man you respect so much and you don't want to say no to him. Really, a whole lot was just going on in my head because it was more like someone that I had put up here that I felt was really, really concerned about me. I had already felt him in the place of my, like a father that could speak to me, you know, guide me. He was there about to do something I did not but you called it rape. Okay. From the general account, because I can't play the whole video here. Now you talk and say all your family members they know about this rape. Yes. It is universally you know, accepted. The notion that rape victims don't speak out. Mm. But your families, they too couldn't speak out. They too couldn't take actions. You said they took some actions. But the action that I would have stood behind you to make sure that that man goes behind bar for the rest of his life because he's a monster. If you have ever any man that rapes a woman is not fit to be called a man, he should be called an eye and should be treated as one. But none of them deemed it fit to take legal action against the man that took your virginity. Hmm. It's very difficult for me to believe that. Even after that so called rape. You continue to go to the man's church even up to this recent time. <laughs> and the man will be on the pulpit shouting hallelujah and you'll be there in the choir singing for him. And you said you are a victim of rape. My dear, my own conclusion in this is that you were not raped. You indulged in it. But I believe you that the man had sexual knowledge of you because in the past was if ever now go I'm not a fan of pastors. I'm not here to defend them. 
but I'm here to bring out issues because the gullibility of Nigerians is factory fitted. I don't know what is wrong with Nigerian youth. Misplacement of priorities, especially these so called celebrities who have never spoken up on the impunities happening in Nigeria. But quickly, they go there to organize rape, rape protest in front of church. And some of them will come out and say, we are not protesting against the church, we are protesting against the man of God. Why don't you go to his, to his house? Don't you know where he lives? And do the protest. He came on Sunday to protest in his church. Well, I had the man have step aside. That is good for him. I want to see this case in court. Because this thing should have been heard from the court. This story should have, this confession should have been heard first in court. That is my stand. I stand for justice. And not all this public and social mobbing. We are people are not allowed to defend themselves. In this internet mobbing, I don't want part of it. So, for the young girl that claimed rape, sorry, but take the right action. All this drama, even this, the whole video was so dramatic. The music on the tune of it, in fact, makes it look like a Nollywood, one of these Nollywood settings. All the two actors, man, two actors to be believed. But never the case. Try as much as possible to take good action by taking this thing to court. If I don't hear it in court, my dear, I shall go stop distracting us from the real threat we are facing by this Fulani has. I think that is where I'll be wrapping up before you were in here. Now, make I vamoose from here. Eh? Thank you for visiting this channel. Subscribe, please. Make sure you click on the subscription. I've abandoned this channel for a very long time because of my serious indulgence involvement in a, this political revolution through my official platform that is bdi channel one please if you are not subscribed on that channel please go back there and subscribe and also subscribe here because here is my personal life and just go around take a look at what i do my personal things yeah back and now drop here now catch your phone um